Hurricane Dorian as it approaches landfall in the Bahamas. If Colorado State University Hurricane Dorian is the strongest storm on the planet and it's bearing down on the Bahamas. The National Hurricane Center, NHC, sent out an advisor early Sunday morning that the storm had been upgraded to a Category 5 hurricane. Catastrophic conditions are already occurring on the Abacos Islands, per the NHC. The agency reported sustained wind speeds of 180 miles per hour with gusts reaching more than 200 miles per hour, and it's moving west at about 7 miles per hour. Fewer than 20 Atlantic storms have ever had winds this powerful, according to experts. And only one other Category 5 hurricane on record has made landfall in the Bahamas. The only other was 1992's Hurricane Andrew, according to the Washington Post. Advertisement In addition to Dorian's fierce winds, the Bahamas will have to contend with life-threatening storm surge and heavy rain. The NHC forecasts storm surge heights of 18 to 23 feet and up to 30 inches of rain. For comparison, the last year's Hurricane Michael brought upwards of 20 feet surging into the Florida Panhandle, which coupled with Category 4 winds, absolutely devastated the region's infrastructure and left many residents homeless. How to Stream Hurricane Dorian News Hurricane Dorian strengthened to a Category 4 storm Saturday evening as it continues its approach, read more read advertisement beyond the Bahamas, Florida's east coast currently has a hurricane watch in effect for areas north of Deerfield Beach to the Volusia Brevard County line. Experts predict the storm will hit the hurricane watch area around late Monday or early Tuesday. A state of emergency is also in effect throughout the state, as well as in North Carolina and South Carolina. Though the storm's forecast track has shifted east toward the Carolinas as of mid-Saturday, Florida officials told residents to remain on guard. As of Sunday morning, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis issued mandatory evacuation orders for Palm Beach County and Martin County for residents living in Zones A and B, the lowest-lying areas. Evacuation orders are generally issued when the threat of storm surge could overtake areas more so than winds alone, underscoring that even if Dorian doesn't make official landfall in Florida, impacts are still likely and could be extremely dangerous. Advertisement If you're looking to livestream news of the storm as it approaches, check out our guide here. Let's block ads. Why?